here with a tandoori barbecue chicken recipe is Chef Devin Raj Kumar, of course. I'll clap for you. I'll clap for you. Okay, this already smells amazing. Tell me about this dish. You eat this a lot. I eat it a lot. I grew up with it. Mm. It's grilling season. Mm -hmm. I want everyone to be inspired a little bit. We can go to the store and open up a barbecue sauce, or we can go and make something really, really special. Mm -hmm. And I just got back from Pakistan, yeah. and I ate a lot of tandoori masala, a lot of tandoori items. This comes from the tandoor, which is a clay oven. Mm -hmm. And I understand that not everybody has a large clay oven that heats up to <laughs> 600 degrees in their backyard. Right. We can do this in the oven, we can do it in the barbecue. Yes. So these are the ingredients that go into it. Now you might say, Devin, these are so many ingredients. Okay. Can I just buy the pre-made masala? Yes, you can, mm -hmm. but I'm very passionate about this. Like, I made my career out of cooking yeah. and, and sharing this stuff, so I love doing this. And we have a bunch yeah. of ingredients we're going to go through. And you said before, Chef, it's going to be different depending on who is making the tandoori. Everyone is going to have a different mix, right? Tandoori, chai masala, yeah. curry powder, garam masala, Cajun seasoning, mm -hmm. herbe de Provence, everything's different. Yeah. You know, based on your household. So this totally. is my version, and it's available this uh, on the Chef Dev version. That's what's up. So coriander. Don't can, I get to do the smell test? We're getting there. Okay. We all have right. time. We're getting there. All right. All right. So, so coriander <laughs> goes in. You can see it's coarse. I love grinding it myself. Yeah. Coriander. Okay, good. Garlic powder. Yeah. We're gonna add cinnamon. And 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 if you've been watching me on the show recently, I've been doing a lot of spices. Yeah. Because I just think that this is like the way. I feel like you always have, but maybe I, yeah. there's more. Is there more now? I try. I, I, for a while, like I've been, we've been filming for many years yeah. now, and I used to scale it down. Yeah. And now I just said like. You're like I, no. No, no, no. Keep it a hundred. And yeah. like this is what I normally do. I am who I am. It's coriander, it. garlic, cinnamon, clove. This is yeah. fenugreek, kasuri methi. If you take some and rub it between your hands, okay. this is like a celery maple flavor. This is a key ingredient in butter chicken. Was I supposed to get it all in the bowl or some over yeah. here? Yeah, smell your hand. Oh, that's it's good. beautiful and fragrant. Yeah, I'm just We're a also, bit more. You can add in some black pepper. Okay. Now, this is an ingredient I quizzed you on before. We always do like the spice game here. Uh, do you know what this is? And, and I, I always fail. I Why do it, I keep playing this? I left it whole so you could maybe have an idea. No, I don't know. This looks like a squid. So, so. <laughs> So, what is it? So you're close. It's the shell of the nutmeg, right? So, oh. <laughs> yeah. So this is not close at all. This is Java tree. It's called mace. God bless you. You may have heard of mace before. It's yeah. floral and it's very similar to the nutmeg flavor. Okay. Now keep going. Yeah, we still have like another 80 spices to go. <laughs> so next thing I want to add in is something that you may not know that we cook with, but it's beetroot powder. Oh, it looks good. So and back rich. back in the Dark. day for tandoori, um, a lot of restaurants, a lot of people would use food coloring. We yeah. don't need to do that. We can use something that's all natural. Yeah. And the beetroot doesn't give a lot of uh, a lot of flavor off of it. Okay. Kashmiri red chili powder. Yeah. Very floral, you very You use fragrant. a lot of it, and I love this stuff. Yeah, add it all. Add it all. Go for oh, it. Oh, it smells so good. It's not as, uh, as spicy as the regular chili powder, but yeah. it's just so fragrant. And we're talking about kind of that north part of South Asia, okay. uh, where Kashmir is, and it's yeah. just so beautiful. Also want to mention, like, being in Pakistan, this dish uh, actually came from the state of Punjab, mm -hmm. pre-partition, which is in the late 1940s. Got it. Uh, so this is a, a, a dish that's very heavily rooted there. And being Guyanese, mm -hmm. my ancestry is over in that area, and right. I just, I love it. I love it so much. I can't I like wait to go back. I like the fact that food is history, so it's nice exactly. that you're sort of tracing your roots through food. I think that's lovely. Of course. Mm -hmm. So now that you have all these spices in to uh, the bowl and think at home when you do this you can store it in an airtight container yeah and then you don't have to do it too often so now we have tandoori masala we have chicken that yeah. I've broken down so now we get to the recipe after you go through and raid your spice <laughs> cabinet now we can get to a little bit of cooking okay. so yogurt goes into my chicken mm -hmm. I think we should do a segment on breaking down chicken we because should. this was so much cheaper than me yes. buying all the individual parts it was it was so especially now so that's how we foreshadow yes uh, ginger garlic paste is going in I'm gonna add a kiss of oil okay I'm also gonna add in some salt yeah I'm also gonna add in some salt okay it's a whole chicken <laughs> yeah and now we're gonna come in with the, the tandoori masala super fragrant I just love looking at it I want to just rub it all through my hair it's, <laughs> it's so Could you much do that fun before you come in it's, next time I just love looking at coarse so spice wear uh, wear a pair of gloves yeah because otherwise you're um your hands will go really bright red, especially with the beet powder that's in there. Yeah. Remove your watch before doing this as well. There's and, a lot, it's like surgery. And now what I wanna do is massage this. Now once I get this all coated and marinated, we go right to the grill, right? We sure don't. 
Why not? We needed to marinate for a while, See? right? Like See? take okay. in the flavor, minimum, season it, let it rest, let minimum, it sit. Exactly. So minimum four hours. Yeah. And then overnight, this yogurt is going to tenderize and add the flavor, and uh, and it's going to be so delicious. So Beautiful. you want to really get this into every single crack. I like to lift up the skin and get it in there as well. Mm -hmm. Now, once you have this all marinated, I'm going to place this glove back in our bowl here. Yep. This goes into the fridge. Now, I want to talk about something else. Here I have an eggplant. I can okay. slice an eggplant, and I just did a catering this past weekend. How'd that and go? I, client was left speechless. Oh. And, and I'm grateful. I don't cater too often anymore, but we yeah. just put so much love into the food. Uh -huh. So now I have eggplant wedges. Okay. Marinate it in this masala a couple hours, Smart. skewer it, serve it up. Yes. We did smoked raita and like cilantro and all kinds of oh, cool that's ingredients. Beautiful. So that's the vegetarian option. Nice. Now, to our grill, we go with our tandoori chicken or eggplant. This is the finished dish that's been basted. Man, look at that. It's been basted with barbecue sauce as well. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It smells. Can so we talk about the barbecue sauce for a moment? Because I look at that tandoori and I think it doesn't need anything. You added barbecue sauce. Did you make that barbecue sauce? We made it from scratch, and I've done it on the show here before. But you don't have to do it. It's just a little something that I do. I mean, we have this beautiful spice. I just want to baste it with something. Yeah. Um, we could baste it with the spice with oil. Yeah. This I'm like it's salivating. It's like me too. I'm it's salivating. It's like next level though when you put the barbecue sauce on top as a glaze. It's a beautiful thing. And it baked in. Oh my in. gosh. Now to garnish this, yeah. take your scallions, right? And then if you cut them on a bit of an angle on a bias, they're going to get really nice and long like this. Nice. And then we're going to add this over the top. Um, we have a really fun dressing that I'm going to get to a little bit later. Yeah. It's a creamy cumin yogurt dressing. So it's like a very fun right. Oh my gosh, I would put that on everything. And we add this around and then we add so our good. scallions on top. And you're going to blow people away this summer on the barbecue. Are you okay? blown away, audience? Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> Chef, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Find the recipe on CityLine.tv. He is going to come back later with a salad recipe that's going to cut back on your food waste.